Welcome to another edition of the show. Now, just to remind you, following this program, we'll be heading over to Manchester, where Martin Logan will be bringing us more stories featuring the Irish community right across the UK. But today we are at the Mall in Castle Bar. Normally the town would be gearing up for its annual St. Patrick's Day Parade, but just like last year, it's unable to go ahead because of the COVID-19 restrictions. So instead we thought it would be nice to bring you a selection of parades over the past 20 years that were held here in the town. Now unfortunately we can feature every year from 1999 to 2019, which was the last parade, but we're going to bring you a selection of some of the highlights of those parades over the year so we hope you enjoy them. Hi Henry it's uh, great to be having a conversation with you here today on a very breezy but healthy mall in Castlebar. I suppose last year uh, little did we know when we cancelled the St Patrick's Day parade for 2020 uh, that we'd also be sitting out this year's parade so for that reason it's it's a, a great idea to be teaming up with yourself and IMAO TV to put together a program that will air to mark the occasion of the St. Patrick's Day Parade 2021. Um, at, I suppose at this point I want to in particular mention the business community in Castle Bar, without whose support each year the parade wouldn't take place. The backing of Mayo County Council and the help with Ungartha Siakana. This year there won't be as much pressure on those groups uh, to put this program out but we hope that all those people will tune in and mark the occasion. I'm looking forward to next year, 2022, and that the parade will again take place and be live, and that we'll have a three-hour parade through the Mall, around the towns, around the streets of Castlebar, bringing together the many groups and organisations in the town that make the day a success, and the crack, the crack that comes with it. So we're looking forward to having that back for 2022. Finally, I want to thank the... St. Patrick's Day Committee, uh, who work very hard every year to make sure that the parade takes place. We're very lucky to have some of the older members, uh, the original members of the parade committee, like Des King and Adrian Cody, who are still involved. And I want to thank them and having the honour of working with them and look forward to working with them again in 2022. Hello and good evening, and you're all very welcome to the annual St. Patrick's Day Parade here in Castle Bar. The theme of the parade this year is the new millennium, and we're expecting a huge crowd in town for this spectacular day. It's a great day for the family, for a family outing, and later on we'll be meeting and talking to some of them along the way. Folks, all the VIPs will be, of course, joining us on the reviewing stand to uh, take the salute. And then the National Flag Party, all our dignitaries, Sean Hawken, our Grand Marshal. Big round of applause for one of our great traditions here of the Castle Bar Band, part of the parade for many years. Parade, the Order of Malta, Tommy Jennings, Janet Cunningham, 
How old guy? And these are our Euro adults of the future, happy hours preschools. In the town hall here in Castlebar, I think they deserve a great round of applause. And this is Criminal National School, their arts division, our class. Your time slide. And the Mayo Arts Group. It's a fabulous uh, Machna style art for Criminal School, led by Michael Smith. And this is where Tony Colley is going to do a little bit of off-scaling here. Fulton Road. Gentlemen, that's what she's called me off the door. I think the more it was there, I hope to down, but there we go. Good afternoon, and you're all very welcome to the annual St. Patrick's Day Parade here in Castle Bar. The first parade for the new millennium. The theme of the parade this year is Home to Mayo. And to take your place on the reviewing stand then, I want you to give a very big welcome to the Lord Mayor of Leeds in his robes, Councillor Keith Parker and his wife, Lady Mayoress, Mrs. Lenny Barker. Also, we'd like to welcome Councillor David McGrath from Birmingham and uh, Tom McLaughlin, the chairman of the Irish Centre in Leeds. We're also joined by the, the Mayor of Castlebar, Councillor Blackie Gavin. And the Kenny TD. Yeah, as you can see throughout the audience, well, there are a lot of visitors here from overseas. I'd like to welcome them all here. And of course, these are no strangers to the parade. The Redmond School of Dances have won medals and cups all over the world. <laughs> And the Casabar Art Squad. Casabar Online. The Arts Group. Take me home to Mayo. The theme for this year's Castle Bar Parade, as you know, is Home to Mayo. Highlight the plight of our elderly Mayo people living in Great Britain. The Tigers, temperature is rising, the Black Rock Ambulance Service. You need it badly, all right. Well done, Tony. And a lovely Celtic Tiger on top. Casabar Scouts, first for me all, Swiss Alps 99. Well done, Bernard. Great, great display. Well done to all. Enjoy the sausages. Hope the Casabar sausages breed eh? And Casabar Scouts, Colin Dunn. Fergus Kelly. Well done, Fergus. Now, Patsy O'Flaherty, mile and 80, with his uh, Ferguson T20. A tractor that represented Mayo in the 32 counties ploughing in the Millennium celebrations on the 26th of February last. In Portadown in County Armagh. Well done, Patsy. The honour of mile and 80. <laughs> County councils, get ready to turn Spencer Street. Belcarra Community Council, they always have a fabulous floating every year. The Mayor of Belcarra, Jackie Gibbons. 
the Lord Mayor. Say hello to the Lord Mayor from Leeds here. You never have this good of colour on you. Eddie from Manchester in the real colours. And Leeds. Sydney to Belcarra. London to Knock. New York to Castlebar. Well, Boric, it's absolutely lovely to see you on the streets of Castlebar for St. Patrick's Day, and we wish you and yours a very happy day. It's very kind of you indeed, Dan, and I brought along my European umbrella as a sure guarantee that the rain will, st will stay off for another hour or two. Well, I sincerely <laughs> hope it will. Thank, Thank you. you very much indeed for talking my to pleasure, us. Man. My pleasure, My pleasure. Great parade and a great day. Keeping the Celtic Tiger alive with Baxter Products, Baxter Healthcare, Chris and Mooney. You want to be careful where you put that thing. That behind of the tiger looks very vulnerable. Oh, it's an arm for the tiger. Baxter's Celtic Tiger. One of the great companies in County Mayo. Give you a big round of applause. Councillor Blackie Gavin here, Cahirlucht of the Castlebar Municipal District. I am delighted to be here today at Loch Lana International Sports Centre of Excellence. This is a facility that we are very, very proud of here in Castlebar and in the west of Ireland. It's one of the finest facilities in the world. I would like to take this opportunity as Cahir looked at the Castlebar Municipal District, to wish the Castlebar people and the Mio people, and especially our diaspora all over the world, a happy St. Patrick's Day. Because of the COVID situation, we cannot have a parade in Castlebar this year. With the help of God, this time next year, we'll be having a parade in Castlebar, and we would like to see you all coming back to Castle Bar again, and with the help of God, we'll be able to travel outside. Goramina Mahagot Galeer. And now, ladies and gentlemen, once again, we're back here in Castle Bar for the annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. And uh, what a fantastic evening, fabulous. Great crowds in the street, great entertainment, and uh, great excitement. The culture of uh, Cordia, you're very welcome to the 2008 St. Patrick's Day Parade here in the heart of Castle Bar. Our Grand Marshal, once again, ladies and put your hands together for the one only Sean Harkin, who is our Grand Marshal again today in the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Now we're joined by a number of dignitaries. Emily Kenny, the Mayor of Castlebar, Lisa McCormick, Deputy Beverly Flynn, we have Al McDonald, County Councillor, Brendan Heenan, of course, Mackie Gavin, and Noel Campbell as well. Now, the Castlebar Active Retirement Association. Very busy ladies indeed. We have some of the active retirement group. We're going to do a little bit of the stack of barley. We knew you were coming, you see. And Anne Burke and Mrs. Heenan are going to do the stack of barley first. All right, here we go. Out here today for the big parade. 
showing the spectacle, the color, the grammar, <laughs> everything that is Irish and is St. Patrick's Day. And now we have the double table stand across the bow, my fans. The major drummer Matthew Yogao. And all the bow, my fans. You see that there is still the location. of Commanding Officer, Second Lieutenant, Councillor Lisa Chambers, assisted by Sergeant Marina Gillespie, and Corporal Geraldine Montgomery. And of course, Colonel Gary Smith taking the salute. G Company, and the Sixth Battalion. Now we're joined by St. Patrick himself, making a personal appearance on the streets of Castlebar. And as you can see, he was shopping locally as well. For the uh, theme for this year's St. Patrick's Day Festival. Greeting the big crowds here, as I said, on the streets of Castlebar, one of the biggest crowds that the Joe would agree ever in town here. here and the Irish Cancer Society, and indeed here in Mayo and Castlebar, do a lot of tremendous work uh, raising funds for Irish cancer. So uh, do give generously on Daffa today, which is coming up very, very shortly indeed. So would you do that for us, folks, uh, while you're enjoying the great. Here we are, you can shake your hands here with Conrad's Waters. Citroen dealers. <laughs> oh yeah, here are more from St. Patrick's National School here. All our leprechauns here and the fabulous. We've got pots of gold and the big snake that St. Patrick got of Ireland here. St. Patrick here with us as well. How about that for colours? That fantastic. They're all from St. Patrick's School. Here they come, look at that for a bug, I tell you. Congratulations, girls. Hope you have a wonderful time tonight. And enjoy tonight. This quality, that's what we're saying here. And what a cool party we have here as well. Well done to all the time. Here we are in the ring doing a couple of jumps and the box, boxing bouts. I tell you, here they come here, right? Well done. On the ring. Do knock out punches here, and these youngsters here, great boxers. So, once again, a big pull of us here for our boxing club here in Castle Bar. Richard Kevlar is it on the 50s. <laughs> Tom McGrath from Cahar. Tom has been involved in the St. Patrick's Day Parade for many years and always brings some fabulous machinery of old days gone by. Look at that, he's always fantastic. Now we have the uh, Mayo International Culture group here. We've been from all over the world. So keep me afraid to be here to be here. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you all. We hope you enjoy the festivities and be part of our culture here and you bring your culture to us as well. So it's lovely to have you. We're from all over the globe. We have 
a very very special event because our next group have won the world's largest ball of sanity. So how about that? A Guinness World Record attempt. So well done, there it is. A world record, folks. Look at this for colours. This fabulous colour from Ballyhay National School. This Kelly is the principal. And look at the coloured flags and all the young pirates as well. We have so much to look at. This fabulous here as well. Look at this for colour. Absolutely dragons. The slaying of the dragons. Now this is uh, coming next is a first for Castle Bar in association with the Castle Rose Festival Committee and in conjunction with the Castle Bar St. Patrick's Day Committee as well, very important. They've come together and the Fane and the Pork as well. And our tourism officer Michael Bain. This is Morris and this is uh, Castle Bar Credit Union. Isn't this some fantastic who sponsored this fabulous dragon? Now this definitely deserves a big, big round of applause and it's an incredible feature for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Now we have the uh, waste management there in Perla. We've had this float as well, a lot of work gone into this one. All Apache only halfway through the great St. Patrick's Day celebrations here in Castle Bar. And here's one copy of the shop local with Tahoe Tires here on the breaking road. A great, great company employing many people. And these are absolutely brilliant folks. Yeah. Yeah, big food of us here for Spider-Man. They all just are you, remember? Now, well, all at uh, Bullet Point, printed on the same CNC Sutherland as well. It's an integral part of Castlebar, the, the life of Castlebar, an annual event. brings all the communities together, all the different organisations, and it's a real uh, community spirit in St. Patrick's Day Parade. Hopefully it'll clear up for the day, and it's looking like that. And, and the committee have put in a great lot of work here this morning under uh, trenches weather this morning. They've got the, uh, the floor or the stand ready, so hopefully it'll be a great day.